This is calculator question number 25 from the January 2017 SAT, which is also practice test 8 on the 2018 College Board prep book. College Board gives us the population of Greenleaf, Idaho in 2010 and asks which equation models that population where T is years after the year 2000. The correct equation in year 0 should give us the population year 2000, which is 862. So A works for that, B works for that, C gives you 862 minus a huge number, so C is wrong, and D gives us 862 plus a huge number, so D is wrong. The correct answer would be A or B, and if you check at T years after, for the year 2010, that's 10 years after. 10 years after, we should get 846. And at t equals 10, I get 862 minus 1.6 times 10. Which is 862 minus 16 is 846. Choice B at t equals 10 gives me 862 minus 160, which is way below 846. I could use, the, I can't write the number correctly, but if I could, I could use the calculator to find the number. In any case, the answer is clearly not 8, 846, so choice B is wrong, and A is the correct answer. College Board often asks you to find the equation to fit data in a table. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.